One of the best water harvesting opportunities that exists on the site is actually coming off of the road that runs adjacent to the Groundswell campus. Over the winter, snow gets piled alongside the road and down the hill that runs adjacent to the site. And in the springtime, this snow will actually melt down the hill, which is why we place the primary swale at the base of this fence here. Now that swale is going to hydrate the trees that are growing on it and when the swale overflows with water, it overflows into the constructed wetland, which is right behind the community classroom. To the untrained eye, people may not realize that all of these paths have been consciously created and designed. They all have a slope towards a specific element within the garden. So this one is quite easy to see. Um, it's sloping towards a mulch basin that exists. So all rain that falls onto this surface will end up passively hydrating this plum guild uh, without us having to apply any additional rainwater to it. In addition, this path is also accessibility friendly so that we can make sure that everybody is included in the garden space. One of the primary design constraints that we have on this site is extremely hot and dry summer. So in order to accommodate that, what we did was we put in an underground rainwater cistern with a volume of 25,000 gallons or 100,000 liters, which will fill at least once per year. Given that it's underground, it never freezes through the winter time. And we have access to this water both throughout the entire outside garden as well as the greenhouse. When this tank overflows, it'll flow through this particular pipe right here and into the swale that we talked about earlier hydrating this entire swale and overflowing into the constructed wetland. The other roof surface that we harvest water off of is the community classroom. So when it rains, water accumulates on this roof and flows down this corrugated plastic pipe into our constructed wetland. And the constructed wetland cleans that water before it moves on to the rest of the garden. The Groundswell Network Society campus is located in the Eastern Kootenai region which is classified as one of Canada's most biodiverse ecosystems. I'm standing in front of a constructed wetland, which is an analogy to the biodiversity that we find within this ecosystem. And this constructed wetland really provides us with three ecological services. Number one, the water holds heat and reflects light, so it creates microclimate. Number two, the wetland plants clean the water so that when all the water accumulates here, it goes on to the rest of the garden, uh, leaving in a much cleaner state. And number three, it creates habitat for insects and birds. Right next to me, on my right and on my left side, there are two spillways. So this pond is fed from the primary swale that we talked about earlier, the downspout from the community classroom. And when the pond overflows, these two spillways are actuated and they fill up the constructed um, mulch basin on this side and a series of mulch basins all the way along the south side of the actual garden itself, which is where our primary food force production occurs. That concludes how we harvest water here at the Groundswell campus. If you want to get future updates about this campus and all the other activities that we do here, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Check out the Verge Permaculture website and Groundswell websites, both mentioned in the credits below. And if you have specific questions about how we harvest water or anything else that we do on the site, Make sure you ask them and we'll do specific videos to answer those specific questions.